All right, standard form line. So, so far, we've only talked about one form, which was slope-intercept, and if you recall, that was y equals mx plus b. That was the form. Well, today we're talking about a new form, and that is standard form. So, standard form I have uh, written out for you right here. ax plus by equals c. So, ax plus by equals c where A, B, and C are numbers. X and Y would stay variables when you write your final equation. There are some rules. A must be positive for proper standard form, and A, B, and C are whole numbers. So no decimals, no fractions. B and or C can be negative. So this one and this one can be negative, but A, the X term, the A coefficient here must be positive to be proper standard form. Okay, steps to write an equation in standard form. Find the slope using the slope formula if needed. Write an equation using slope intercept form. Again, that was our y equals mx plus b form. And our slope, recall, is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Those are formulas we worked with before and forms. Change the equation to standard form by isolating the constant term. They're talking about this one. Write x and y in the right order. That means x and y on the same side, x first. Make sure a is positive and a, b, and c are whole numbers. So that will be our process. Okay, another concept that's important when we're working with linear equations is that equ linear equations that have the same solutions are called equivalent equations. So it says write two equations in standard form that are equivalent to the given equation. So this is pretty straightforward. We can just multiply every term in this equation, both sides, by the same quantity, same number, and it will be equivalent. So let's say we multiply them all by 2. So 4x minus 6y equals 14. So that is the same line. It produces the same. Uh, if you put in the same input, you'll get the same output out it would be the same line. If you graph them, they would lay on top of one another. Then I could multiply it by three. So actually, let's put, that was a times two. We'll do a times three next. So go back to the original equation, multiply all terms by three. So six X minus nine Y equals 21. So all three of these lines are the same. They're the exact same line. If you graph them, they would lay right on top of one another. They are called equivalent equations. Okay, so example two here. We'll stick with multiplying first, so we'll multiply by two. So that would be 8x minus 24y equals 32. That is an equivalent equation. This and this are the same. They would produce the same points. They would produce the same line. We can also divide them by two, so, or any number for that matter. We'll divide by two, so that would be 2x minus 6y equals 8. As long as we do the same to all of the terms, both sides, then it is equivalent. So these three lines right there would produce the same exact graph. Okay, next. Write an equation in standard form. Always make sure you write it in the same form given the following information. Now I will say later in this unit we're going to work with another form called point slope form and that would be much easier to do this but right now we don't know that form yet so we're going to stick with what we know so we're going to follow our process first thing we have to get the slope if we don't have it well we have it right here our m is negative 3 over 2 then we need to write it in slope intercept form slope intercept form was y equals m x plus b so we fill in what we know we have an m this we have an x for here, and we have a y for here. So let's fill all of that in. So this is my x, this is my y, and of course this is my m. So fill in what we know and we'll solve for what's left. So y is negative 1, that equals slope is negative 3 over 2, times x is 4 plus b. So the only thing we don't know is b, the y-intercept. We'll find that next. So work that out. Negative 1 equals negative 3 halves times 4 is negative 12 over 2 plus b. 
Simplify that, negative one equals negative six plus b. Solve for b, add six. So b equals five. Now we write it in standard, uh, pardon me, slope intercept form and we'll rearrange it. So we have y equals negative three halves x plus five. M is negative three halves, and the B value that we're using, we got from that right there. So now we have Y equals negative three halves X plus five. So this is slope intercept, but we want standard form. So we have to rearrange it. Standard form says X and Y on the same side. So I need to move this X term over here. So I add it to both sides. We get three halves X plus y equals five. Last rule says that a has to be positive. This is my a value and it can't be a fraction. It is positive, but it's a fraction. The way we can convert this to not be a fraction anymore is multiply by the denominator. That's always true. So we multiply the whole equation by the denominator of two. So two times that, the twos cancel. I'm left with three x. Two times y plus two y. 2 times 5 equals 10. So my final answer is 3x plus 2y equals 10. All right, next example. Write an equation in standard form given the following information. Okay, now they just give us two points. So we have to find the slope first, then take one of those points with the slope and do it exactly the way we did this previous problem. Okay? So when we're working with slope, we always label our two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is equal to, remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's our formula. So for me, that is y2, negative 6, minus y1, 4, over x2, 1, minus x1, 3. So negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. 1 minus 3, negative 2. Simplify that. Negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. So my m is 5. I'm going to box that in because that's important. Okay, now we can choose a point to fill in to our y equals mx plus b. I like to choose points that have both positive coordinates. We could use this point right here, but this first point, this one, has positive coordinates coordinates so it's just a little easier to work with so that's what I'm choosing so 4 is going in place of that y 3 is going in place of that x 5 is going in place of the m so let's do that next so y is 4 m is 5 x is 3 plus b so we're solving for b our y-intercept so 4 equals 15 plus b subtract the 15 so negative 11 equals B. So now I have for my Y equals MX plus B form, I have the two parts I need. I have the slope 5 and the Y intercept negative 11. So in slope intercept form, that equation is Y equals 5X minus 11. The question wants that in standard form. So now I take slope intercept form and rearrange it. So the 5x comes over here and becomes negative. We're shortcutting that. We've worked with that enough to where we can do that now. So negative 5x plus y equals negative 11. Remember, anytime a term crosses the equal sign, it changes signs. That's our shortcut. Now, everything looks good for standard form except my a value, negative 5, is negative. So the shortcut, just like when we worked with negative y's before, when we ended with negative y and slope intercept, we can just change the signs of everything to shortcut that. All we're doing is dividing all terms by negative one. The shortcut is just change the signs of them all. So five uh, x becomes positive, y is now negative, 11 is now positive. So final answer, five x minus y equals 11. That is proper standard form. A B and C are whole numbers and A is positive, so it meets all the requirements.